In this video, I'm going to be taking this worn out garden stake and making it look somewhat new again. So if you want to see how I managed to do that, keep watching. Moondoss at Life Handmade and Deco Easy, which is Yanni and her daughter-in-law Diane, have issued a challenge for a useful DIY. And those of you who follow me know how much I love DIY. And the caveat for this particular challenge is that you have to paint something. So I thought, that I can do. So I thought about this garden state and I had planned to discard it. I was gonna like donate it to the Goodwill. And in the meantime, I was thinking that I would go to the Goodwill and find something that I could paint. And then I thought, wait a minute, I already got something that I can paint. Why go pick up somebody else's junk to paint when you can paint something of your own? So this is what I'm going to do. So the first thing I need to do is dust it off, clean it up, because there's like cobwebs and all kind of loose paint and stuff like that on it. This has already fallen off. So I'll go ahead and get it cleaned up and sand it up and then I will get it painted. Let me show you the paint that I'm going to use. I did go to Michael's, so I picked up this paint in eggshell white. This paint in kind of a metal prairie green and then this really pretty turquoise blue as well as a set of stencils. So when you look here at this stake, the roof is green and the bird on the front is blue. And then the overall, like the house and the stake and all of that was white. And then of course the letters were stenciled in black. So I picked up some stencils and we've already got some black paint somewhere out there in the garage. So we've got paint brushes upstairs in my husband's studio. He's got some black paint already, so I didn't have to pick up any of that. So now let me go ahead and start getting this cleaned up and then I'll show you what I do next. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just try to wipe some of the cobwebs off of it. Out of the little birdhouses. places where it shouldn't be. I can just touch that up. Now I just need to do the bird and it's looking pretty good though.
well, who knew I could do all of this? Certainly not me, but I must admit it has been fun. Ron, he's more of your arm than that just wrist. Yes. People tend to do this all the time, but he's more, he has straight line, more than your whole, whole arm. He needs a straight line versus this. Okay. okay. Then I just roll to the paint on the, on the brush, not the handle. We'll just try a couple strokes if you want to. It's very softly. Okay, go. Oh, okay. I'll roll it good again. Roll Another it. stroke or? Put some more paint on your brush. Can I roll it? Start with the E. You try to do like the whole line first, not just part of the line, whole line. Okay. Go this way or that way? Yeah, probably this way if you're comfortable. Okay, use more of the point, not pull it down so much. Oh, that's a good one. Mm -hmm. Get the hang of it. How come we started at the end and not at the W? Because you get to paint. You get the paint in the way of paint in your hand. Oh, I see. Okay. Use your right hand. Well, I've got the project all done, and I am really pleased with the way it turned out. Let me show it to you. Here it is. Here is my painted, useful DIY, and I am just so pleased that I did not discard it. And I also want to thank my husband for giving me a hand with the little fine detailing here on the bird. But everything else, I did myself, so kudos to me. And let me also thank Moondas for encouraging me to stretch myself just a little bit and trying this challenge because you guys know I'm not used to doing this kind of thing. Whenever I need something painted, my husband always paints it. And this time I did it myself and I probably spent as much money on the paint to refurbish it as I could have bought a new one. But there's just so much satisfaction on saying that, you know what? I did this myself. So thank you. And uh, I appreciate you guys' patience with me as I grow in my DIY. And let me just thank Patrice at Random Bites of a Sweet Life for showing me just how easy painting something can be. Patrice participated in my winter kitchen vignette and she painted a picture frame to create a tray for her vignette. And I thought, well, I can do that. So she showed me just how easy it can be. So thank you, Patrice, for helping me to see what I couldn't see before. So I was able to step out there and challenge myself just a little bit more. So it made me think of the phrase, she thought she could, so she did. So after I saw you do that and I put some thought into it, I thought, I can do that. And so I did. So now let me ask you this. What part of this whole process do you have questions about? Let me know in the comment section below. And just so you know, I've raised three children. I've managed a home for more than 45 years and I'm a nurse by profession. So if you want to learn more about running a household, cooking and cleaning and laundry and health and beauty, subscribe. I would love to have you as a member of the TNT community. And in case I didn't say it, I'll make sure that I link Moondust and Deco Easy below because they're the ones that co-hosted this particular challenge. So thank you guys.